News 4's Alexis Zotos begins our live our team coverage tonight. She spoke with a local researcher who's working on a potential treatment for the virus. Doctors are looking to the past to solve the problem of the present. It's really bringing back a, a method that was developed in the pre-vaccine era when we had no vaccines for things like measles or diphtheria or mumps. Uh, back in that time, going way back to 1890, uh, was when this was developed. This is Dr. Jeff Henderson, an infectious disease doctor at Washington University Medical School. What they're researching is this, the blood of those who have recovered from coronavirus and whether those antibodies can then be used to treat others suffering. It's important to remember that this is not a, a cure for the disease. Uh, but we think a way to make it less severe. Already, New York is getting ready to try this idea. Any type of help is needed. In the last 24 hours at just one New York City hospital, 13 have died from COVID-19. And tonight, the number of cases in the state now exceeds 30,000. The Department of Health actually takes plasma from people who are infected, who have the antibodies, and we'll try putting that plasma into a person who is still struggling with the disease, hoping that the antibodies make a difference. But what New York and Washington University researchers need is the blood of recovered patients. According to John Hopkins, 361 people in the United States have recovered, but the number of cases of coronavirus is almost 66,000. Because of the limited amount of testing that was available early on, I think there are a lot of people who've recovered and had it, but will not have had a positive test. Unfortunately, we can't include those as donors, people like this as donors at the moment, unless they've had that test. So according to the World Health Organization, it can take up to two weeks at least for those to be considered recovered if they had mild symptoms. We keep getting questions from viewers, viewers why we're not talking about local recovered cases. Well, just think about this. The confirmed case, the first confirmed case in the Missouri state happened just two and a half weeks ago. So those numbers on who has recovered from this are going to take some time to come in.